Well, I've completed the Casey Neistat storytelling and filmmaking class, and they've asked all the students to do a little video review, kind of as a third project that wasn't really part of the class. So I thought, what the heck? Of course, truth is, I was probably going to do this anyways. Now this was a class that was taught on monthly.com. It's an online adult education class. Well, maybe not adult. I guess anybody can take a class that's willing to pay for it. And it was promoted as 30 Days of Learning with Casey Neistat. So to cut to the chase, did I like the class? Am I satisfied with it? Did I get my money's worth? And I think the answer to those questions is generally yes. I certainly think I got my money's worth. I, the class was $249. Learned some things, picked up a few tricks and tips, things like that. Things that I think are going to help me going forward. So it was certainly worth the money. And it was fun challenging myself to complete the projects as described in the class instead of just going with my usual style of video. If there's anything that I was dissatisfied about in the class, it was really that, as I said, it was promoted as 30 days of learning and I don't really feel like that's the way it was done. The first day there was an introduction to the class and the first video lesson on finding an idea, and then there was an assignment to go out and find an idea, post that idea to the class page, so your peer group, which is about 20 other students, can see the idea and everybody knows how everybody's progressing. That's about the only accountability there was on the class, on whether or not you were actually doing anything with the class, was to post to the peer group. Then there was another video lesson actually going out and shooting the video, and that was very educational. I got to watch Casey start and stop and repeat things just to get it the way he really wanted it and all the things that kind of interfere with him, things that you picture somebody like that never have any difficulty with that I have problems with all the time. So it was really good to know that he has some problems getting the shot just right as well. But once you started filming, there were a few days to film the class, then there was a class on editing, and then there were a few days to get started on the edit, then there was a class on how to finish the edit, and then there were a few more days to complete the edit. So what started off as a spontaneous film, go out, find an idea, shoot it, edit it, get done with it, was really a two-week project, and it lost all of its spontaneity by the end of two weeks. There were not additional classes on the days that were set aside for filming. So if you were efficient and got all your filming done the first day or got all your editing done the first day you started editing, whatever the case may be, there wasn't anything to occupy your time with to fill up the rest of those days. So you had days off, essentially. And for some people, I'm sure that's wonderful, people that are full-time students or people that have a regular job and have to complete the class on their days off and in the evenings, things like that. I'm sure they greatly appreciated that. But because there were days off, it's not really 30 days. And the second project pretty much followed that same pathway. Now, if you've been watching, my first project was the shed project. What do you find in an old shed? Is it trash or is it treasure? And that was kind of a spontaneous go out around your own area in your own neighborhood, your own property in my case, and find an idea for a video. So that's the idea that I chose to go with. The second project was a bit more involved. It was supposed to be higher production value, a little more attention to really planning it out and taking your time, get all the shots you wanted, spend a little bit more time editing, finding just the right music. He talks a little bit about stock sound effects, things like that. And again, it was really good to watch him shoot and realize that he's plagued with some of the same problems I have. There was a big part of his video that his microphone wasn't working properly, and he had no audio and had to scrap all of that, and in the editing process, figure out what to do about that and how to tie the whole video together after losing a considerable portion of what he had shot. So watching how he dealt with those problems and solved those problems was really a valuable lesson. So that was wonderful. But again, there were a lot of dead days. I was essentially through with that project and just put it on the shelf for a few days until we got around to shooting the ending, where we turned our living room into our version of Possum Lodge, which was a whole lot of fun to do. But I didn't need all the days allowed for that and would have loved to have some additional lessons, some additional little mini projects to go out and shoot. Just something else to bring it up to a full 30 days. So my major complaint, if you would call it a complaint, maybe it's really just a little bit of a disappointment, 
is that there was not actually structured lessons and structured activities for all 30 days of the class. The other thing that didn't really go so well is the peer group was helpful. It did give you a place to make sure you were submitting your work to kind of hold yourself accountable. But not everybody submitted work. Not everybody responded and commented on other people's work, offered any kind of constructive feedback. So it was kind of a hit and miss thing. And watching videos or reading comments from other people who were in the class, a lot of people found that their peer group was not really all that helpful. I don't think there's a big solution to that. Would have been nice if Casey were involved in some of the peer groups, and maybe he was, but I haven't heard that he actually was. But I'm not sure that other than just holding yourself accountable to make sure you posted the assignments to the peer group when you were supposed to, yeah, it served much other purpose than that. Although truthfully, it was interesting to see other people's videos. And if you go to the main page where you get to see all the completed projects, there are hundreds of them. I have no idea how many students actually took this class. But there's no way I'm ever going to find time to look at all of the projects that everybody submitted. So again, I think the class was worth it. I think I got my money's worth out of it. Just a few things that I might have liked better. Well over half full, we picked up about 600 gallons in the last week. Now based on this experience with the monthly platform, I would certainly use them again if there was a class I was interested in taking. Looking at their current curriculum, I'm not sure there's anything I really want to take. And if you're interested in any of their classes or the Casey Neistat class, they do run regularly. They're not every month, but I think they start every six weeks, eight weeks, something like that. So it's worth checking it out if you're interested and you can get in on the next session. Now, if you're somebody that has followed me over on Black Bear Forge, you already know that I'm a big fan of online learning. I used to do sponsored videos over there for Skillshare. Still a big believer in Skillshare, just decided it wasn't the perfect fit for a sponsor on a blacksmithing channel. But if Skillshare is watching this video, I'd be happy to talk to you about sponsorships over here on the John Switzer channel. But anyways, I've taken quite a few online classes over the years through Skillshare, Udemy, now monthly, and a few that are through more individual servers or websites that the person teaching the class has their own system. But with the difficulty of finding a class at a community college or some private business like a camera store in my area and probably in a lot of areas around the country, I think online education is really the way to go for a lot of this stuff loads of information out there. And so I strongly recommend online classes. If you're looking to learn just about anything from cooking to videography, probably even auto repair.